I would definitely say kudos to the Chandler City Council, Chandler staff, and all other entities related to the Chandler City handling the COVID, the very unexpected situation wisely and nicely. Because when people were physically sick and afraid to face the virus that they do not know the nature of that, but at the same time, small business owners were getting so much in trouble. And even the corporate businesses are going through trouble because they didn't have all those ideas in place how to handle that. Very quickly, the manual after manual coming, the procedure has been changing, and that's hurt so many businesses in their revenue and turnout of the employees or the well-being of the employees. So that was a big thing. But the city handled it nicely. And um, uh, what I saw, our city staffs are doing their job very nicely. Our fiscal year 2020-23 budget session, when I sat there all day long, I saw that the contingency plan, the way it's planned out, the way the one-time dollar and the continuing dollar that's allocated to support different areas, and also, uh, just like COVID, we'll be having another problem, inflation. But I asked the, our CFO of the city directly, will that going to hurt us? She said, no, we have better contingency plan. As a city, we will not get hurt. But as a constituent, we might. But that's where we need the more engagement between the city and the local communities to face it together, win it together, battle it together. Thank you. Jane Poston. Thank you, Judge Jay. Um, hindsight on an issue like this, especially one that none of us have ever dealt before, hindsight's 2020. So um, it's difficult to be too critical. But one of the issues that I would have liked to have seen the city maybe do a little bit of a better job on is to make this a smoother part or process for some of our partners. So including the school district that was working to provide hotspots to our most vulnerable students and their families. Um, including the Chamber, Chandler Chamber of Commerce, which was really boots on the ground and having those daily conversations while dealing with the same pandemic issues that every other business was in town. I think, I think they, they did eventually make some of those processes a little bit smoother, but I think maybe trusting our partners a little more, that they knew what was best for their own communities, their own constituents, whether that's the school and the students that they deal with every single day, or the Chamber of Commerce and the businesses that they were talking to every day. I would have liked to have seen that been a little bit of a smoother process for, um, and, and that it goes back to collaboration and relationships with those entities, which I think is incredibly important um, at the best of times, but certainly in the worst of times. Thank you. Councilmember Orlando. So um, to answer the first part of the question, I, you know, I was, we had a myriad of meetings and at times we, 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 we tend to be, and I'm self-critical myself, inconsistent. You had some areas of our community that was partially open, like our libraries, which was encouraging other residents to come down to use our libraries and potentially expose our workers to COVID, where they closed down all the way. Um, so there was some inconsistency. Yeah, we had some departments that fully closed down, and you know they felt a little bit safer. Um, we overtaxed our public safety issues uh, just because of the, of the pandemic. So we, we learned some lessons there as well, what we need to do in the future about that. Um, we also learned that we had infrastructure issues in Chandler. Uh, we cannot literally deploy over 1,600 people to work from home. But fortunately, we had some dollars that we put into the infrastructure. Today, it's more robust. We, um, we did a great job in supporting the retail uh, and the business, keep them open with federal dollars. The chamber helped immensely in that program. We certainly appreciate that. And of course, keeping people in their homes. We did a great job working with the nonprofits in trying to keep folks home, paying their rental and utilities. Uh, it's, it was a tough time for all of us, but I learned a lot of valuable lessons on that. And we will be prepared the next time. The other thing we did that our firefighters were proactive is they went out to all the senior center units and they were helping the senior facility members there get ready for the COVID 
uh, pand pandemic. So we did a lot of good things, and we did some things cons consistently. There's some lessons learned there. So as a former military officer, you always look at those chalkboards and say, what can we do better next time? Thank you. Darla Gonzalez. Yeah, so during COVID, I, again, I agree with, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. I think that threw everybody for a loop. Um, what I saw was communities working well with the city, which was good. Um, and I also felt like communication was good with council because I was having questions. And every time I would text a council member, they would answer me back that they were doing their due diligence and they were listening to the business owners and listening to the residents. And that gave me confidence um, that they were taking it seriously. So uh, what, how did they handle it? In my opinion, I thought they were uh, communicative. Um, could they have been more communicative? Maybe. I think that, like in my case with the school district, I think the school district struggled um, and their, their options weren't great um, for online charter schools. I think that transition was hard on my, my daughter. Um, but again, uh, lessons learned and you just go forward and do better next time. Thank you. Angel and Cenas. Yes, on the way that our city handled this, like Matt had said, you know, we did well in the transitions and the communications with it, with it all. You know, it's something that myself and my generation, my parents' generation, even my grandparents' generation have not gone through before or experienced having a pandemic, nor has our government at that level. So I do give kudos to Chandler for what they've done. But what is more important is that our businesses and our residents who are negatively impacted have the resources they need to recover making sure that our city allocates federal funds dedicated to those who are in need in a timely and efficient manner. And that we as a city, God forbid, are prepared for this if it happens again. Thank you. Thank you. 